Kimberly. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I was actually not going to ask a question because I thought that when uh, um, there are questions, you respond to the very specific one. Nonetheless, because I'm seeing that the questions are also taking Basically, on policy, policy direction. A just and generous. Thank you. I, I do appreciate, Mr. Speaker, because I think you understand having served in the House that members have needs in the constituency. I want to ask a question which is uh, similar to what the Honorable Fogishugu has raised. And for me, it's really a policy issue that when you have commenced construction and then you stop because of lack of funds, it shouldn't be within the charity of the minister, but a policy issue in the ministry that you must allocate funds. Like right now, uh, the road between uh, Sindo and Bita is actually only about two, three kilometers. I was there last week, but you spend almost one hour because they actually messed up the road. We cannot, we cannot allocate it in Kura, but when this young man called Morara wants to attack, he goes to my constituency, even though he went on the Karoli side, uh, but because maybe Karoli is still relatively new, he was attacking me saying, Mili, what are you doing? I'm not the one doing those roads. It's the national government, but because we are not assigning money for routine maintenance. What is the policy of the ministry? And if you don't have a policy, can you come up with a policy for just regular maintenance so that it's not dependent on police, on, on charity of a given CS, but it's a given that it must be allocated. Even if you want to do that road right now, I can't do anything. And it's a small portion that we can do with care. Thank you, Bert Simba. Asante sana mshumi speaker kunipa fursa. Minister, you will compress all this into a policy direction. Asante sana mshumi speaker kunipa fursa ya kuweza kuuliza swali la ziada. Je, waziri ana ufahamu barabara katika eneo bunge la Kisauni ambayo imeanza Kiembeni ipitie Mwakirunge kwenda Rabai. Na mshumi wa rais alikuja kuanzisha rasmi barabara hiyo inayojengwa na Kera. Alipo ondoka mwishmiwa rais, matinga tinga yote ya liondoka ya kamfuata. Anazo habari hizo na ana mipango gani kuweza kuendeleza yu barabara badala kumwekia haibu mwishmiwa rais. Thank you. Let's have answers to those. Uh, thank you. Thank you, speaker. Thank you, honorable members. Like, uh, I think... Uh, Honorable Mili summarized it very well that we should have a policy uh, framework on how to deal with roads which have been contracted and ensure that we do allocate funds so that those roads are not stranded even for the purpose of motorability. I want to state here, honorable members, that I'll work very closely with the House to ensure that when we run our budget, we do ensure that we give priority to ongoing projects. We do some uh, parity and equitable distribution of resources. And that with the kind of data that is available in roads, we should be able to do that together. With respect to uh, really the challenge that we've had for a long time on bending bills, um, the support that we've received from this house on the seven shillings additional uh, road maintenance levy, and which I have confirmed we are fairly advanced in securitizing to ensure that we raise some 170, 175 billion Kenya shillings, we should be able to get all contractors back to work. But more importantly, even as we do that, and because there is a really, uh, uh, you can have site of the entire runway on this particular project, we will push the contractors to make the roads motorable. Uh, talking to a road like uh, uh, Sindon Bita, I want to confirm merely that that particular road will now not stop. Uh, we, will, we are working on it. Uh, I don't know, uh, but majorly because we are raising the, the funds to pay all the contractors. We had a bending bill on that road of about 540 million Kenya shillings on certificates issued, but there was only an allocation of 270 million. Having paid the full amount, 
you can see the contractor still with a hole of 300 million, but uh, I've equally had uh, a meeting with civil engineering construction company, uh, the same company that did uh, the road from Kwale Kinango, and I can assure us that because of what we are doing on securitization, uh, a lot of contractors are, 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 are seeing some hope and we are able to get a number of them uh, back to work. So a road like Sindo Mbita, I can assure honorable members just to pick one that it will not stop. With respect to Gishugu Banagishimo, uh, we will, like I've said, maintain. We are seeking to ensure that the contractors make the roads motorable. Traditionally, contractors should provide a road for uh, users during construction. So they can, we cannot be constructing a road, leaving heaps of soils. Uh, we then abandon works because of an unpayment and we leave the road not motorable. So we are going to, it's, it's an agenda. I gave the example of Kenango Kwale where we made the road uh, really good on Moram so that as they work on the tamakin and even I'll bear the challenge of pending bills uh, and payments, the road or the users of the Kenyans users do not face that challenge. Uh, Honorable John Mutunga, I want to confirm like when we met that we're going to address the various challenges on the road um, programs in the country. Uh, we have built a good database that can help us to work together with the house to ensure that uh, we do have a very amicable way of allocating funds uh, to ongoing projects, uh, to roads across the whole country uh, with some level of equity. Uh, Captain Ruida, Ruida, thank you for uh, congratulating me. Uh, equally to a number of members who have congratulated me today. I'll, I want to confirm that we'll work very closely together. Mtakawanda Road, uh, to Kisingitini, we'll tender it next week. We'll put it to tender next week. Uh, with respect to, uh, I'm just saying, I mean, there's a lot of tendering happening next week. Uh, and and uh, with respect to, uh, I, I think I, I mentioned Tigania West for, for John. Uh, with respect to, what was the other, Sarakanisi Bridge, I want to confirm we are all concerned about this Tarakanizi bridge and we are paying a lot of attention. Uh, we have installed uh, a lot of bumps or humps on the road. We have installed signage and will continue to improve. We have separated the uplink traffic from the downlink traffic. Uh, we are in the process of finalizing the redesign for, for the new bridge, which is currently ongoing and we will put funds. You are aware that leadership at every level has made commitment to correcting a needy bridge. We don't like the name uh, Killer Bridge. We should get it back to needy bridge. And so we are paying attention to that. Our potholes on this road that is complicated and that we have had to assign or give to so many contractors, uh, Matu, Ikalagala, uh, I want to confirm that uh, we will work on the potholes. Like I've said, we'll make the roads motorable. And with the four or five contractors on site, the issue of pending bills and the fundraising we are doing through securitization, we are going to pay attention and ensure that these small sections with all these contractors, Sifel, Kito, uh, uh, Usongiro, and so on and so forth, um, address and do what they are supposed to do. The floating bridge in, uh, uh, where is this? In Mutongwe. We removed the floating bridge in Mutongwe because it had its own challenges. We know the challenges we are facing with the Likoni Ferry, but uh, luckily, uh, Mishimboko, we are finalizing the Dongokundu Kibundani Road, which is basically finished. Um, I think we are almost seeking a date for official uh, commissioning of that road and we will move most of the traffic. We'll work together with the leadership. I was in Mombasa last week, and we had a session with the governor from Mombasa, Abdul Swamad, and we want to work together to see how to decongest Likoni Ferry, 
how to even provide some land around the ferry as a holding ground, which I do know that Kenya Railways did miss out to some other investor, and we are working to address that uh, small challenge. So, honorable members, let me just say that uh, allow us to work in another one, two months, max three months, to sort out the bending bills uh, through securitization of the seven shillings. I want to uh, thank the House Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, for the support we have received in the securitization process. This will go a long way in sorting out the bending bills, which amounts to about 174 billion today. Uh, and we can get all the contractors back to work. We'll be more cautious, we'll be more careful to ensure that we do not get into that situation by assigning new projects where there is no revenue or investments or cash flow to support uh, maturing uh, work certificates. So, honorable members, thank you for your support. I will continue to receive you to address the specific roads uh, in the various uh, counties in this great country. I will continue to receive you in my office as I continue to learn. Today, I'm just 90 days in office, and uh, I think I was, I was asking myself what, what I will possibly have to say on the 100th day, but we'll continue to work together. Thank you very much. Honorable members, we've done three hours on question time. I want a question by Sarah Correra to be the last for today and invite the minister to be back here in two weeks to answer the remaining questions. So, Sarah Correra, ask your question. That will be the last for today. And Sarah, before you ask, take your seat. Members, tomorrow, Malulu, your question will come after two weeks. All of you who are on the order paper, we have bills also to deal with. And uh, I think we have extracted sufficient material from the minister today. He will be back here in two weeks. Before Sarah Correre asks the question, tomorrow we have a Kamkunji at 11. All of you and those who are not here be here for that Kamkunji. And ministers, you go to answer the last question. Remember to remain engaged with the Baraki Club for Yala Games. Sarah Correre. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I rise to ask question number 127 of 2024. Can the minister state the reasons for delay in completion of construction works on Doldol Nanyuki Road in Laikipia North constituency? Number two, state when the ministry intends to complete construction works. And three, provide details of the outstanding payments, if any, to the constructor on the scope of works for construction on the said road.